Now, it's a beautiful sunny day out here in Cape Town and what better way to add sunshine to someone's life than to surprise them? Now, that's exactly what I'm here to do today. Now, if you remember, a few weeks ago, we launched the Dulux Office Colour Makeover competition with the aim of adding a splash of colour to the winner's workspace. Now, Genevieve Cross from the Reach for a Dream Foundation, who works right here at Canal Walk in Cape Town, is the winner of that competition and I'm here to surprise her to tell her that she's the winner. Okay, now, of course, Jenny is anticipating us being here, so we're going to surprise her. Shh, come on, let's go. Um, hello everyone, good morning, good morning. Very well, thank you. I'm looking for Jen. Nice Genevieve. Nice. Hello Genevieve, how are you? Good, nice to meet you. Very well, my name is Katleo Hi. And I'm from a show called Expresso. Do you know Expresso? Yes, we do. You actually do know Expresso? We do, we watch it in the mornings. So. Now, a few weeks ago, we had a competition called mm -hmm. the Dulux Office Colour Makeover Competition. Yes, I remember that. Did you enter that competition? We did. You sure did. And mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you that you are the winner of that competition. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> surprise! Yay! Surprise! Oh, amazing! We can do with some colour in the office. Very, yeah. very busy ladies in here, <laughs> yes, as you can always, see. Always, always. So, Jen, tell me about the work that you as Reach for a Dream do. We fulfil the dreams of children with life-threatening illnesses between 3 and 18 years old, and we believe that having a dream fulfilled inspires these kids. It gives them hope and joy during a very, very difficult time in their lives. Now, of course, the work that you do is very emotionally taxing, and tell me, how is it going to affect your team? Colour and your workspace definitely affect your mood and affects how you feel and I think if, if we feel more inspired and creative then we can fulfill even better dreams and just give the kids an even better experience. Well once more congratulations and thank you for entering. Keep watching the show. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I must say that felt so good. Definitely a prize well deserved by the Reach for a Dream team. Thank you very much to Dulux for allowing us as Expresso to add a splash of colour to South African lives. I think that's absolutely fantastic. And as they mentioned uh, there with Kat, they said that colour does affect your mood in the workplace. And we are going to find out more about what the new paint job entails for the team from Reach for a Dream. We've got our colour expert, Sonica from Dulux, uh, in studio this morning. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. You've seen the photos of the Reach for the Dream offices. Yes. And they're in desperate need for some colour. And you heard them mention that colour affects their mood. Yes. That's true, obviously. What colour should people look at when they are looking at doing their offices? I don't think there are any right or wrong colours. Mm -hmm. um, I think, first of all, you need to look at the needs of the people within the space. Um, selecting colours, we all respond differently to colours, but there is um, there's what we call the, um, the unconscious collective. We all re more or less respond similar to some colours. So first of all, you need to look at the space. You need uh, to look at maybe the stress factors that are within the space and then choose colours to try and alleviate that. But basically selecting colours, you know, with the right ratios mm. and contrast to uh, very bright to subdued colours. Yeah, just looking at that, overall, talking to the people, I always suggest <laughs> talking to people in the office, you know, ask them, you know, what it is that they like mm. and then try and see if you can work something out, you know, to try and alleviate certain stress factors. Now, I'm going to open the phone line in case anyone has any questions. 0839133728 if you'd like to ask Sonica anything colour related, whether it's in your home or your office, she'll be more than happy to answer that for you. I want to know, without giving too much away, Yes. What have you got planned for the Reach for the Dream office? Well, I, I saw within the office, it's, it's quite a, um, a different shape. Yes. Uh, you know, if you look at the, you know, the slanting mm. ceilings. So I don't want to focus too much on that. I want to add a few accents here and there. Just enough colour to, you know, to give a bit of uplifting and stimulation. But also just balance it out with some nice neutrals, you know, so it's not too overstimulating. Just a nice, comfortable place for them to work. Now, what's different between home and office in terms of colour? Do you, would you use the same colours you use at home in the office and vice versa? Well, the home and the office is a bit different. When it comes to the home, it's pretty much what you want. Mm. So I would, I would say when it comes to your home, you more or less, every person has more or less got an idea of you know, the type of look or mood they want. Yes. Um, just a few things that you need to take into consideration when choosing colours for a room or home or office, for that matter. You need to look at your existing factors and you need to build a scheme, basically, that's going to harmonise with whatever you have in the room. Also, lighting conditions. I just want to mention this is so important. Um, colours alter under different light conditions, so I would just suggest whenever you choose your colours, please choose it in the room that you intend to paint. So would you get a sample and then paint it against the wall with the light? I would recommend that, yes, definitely, because it's not just light. Sometimes the surface texture um, also causes minute shadows. If you've got a very rough surface, the appearance of the colour might be slightly darker than it really is. Now, there's so many colours to choose from. How would you go about narrowing the colour that you want for your office space? I think first of all, um, like I said, first of all, mm. look at the existing elements mm. that's in the office. 
um, if there's more or less some colors that you are interested in. And then look at the Dulux color moods. We've got mm. four color moods, uh, rich, fresh, warm, and calm. And each of these color moods have got a, a specific attribute to each of the moods. Um, as an example, calm colors um, create a very calm, relaxing interiors. Yes. Um, and it's very, um, it's very subtle. It's got a lot of gray undertones, um, which also gives a lot of space. Mm. Fresh colors add vibrancy to a space. Um, perfect for south-facing, you know, spaces that's very dull and gloomy. Yeah. So yeah, it depends on, you know, the type of atmosphere you want. I would say mm. that's your first point. Look at what you've got. Um, look at your existing, uh, you know, your lighting conditions. And then basically from there you can start doing your scheme and you know I would suggest also to create like a little mood board um, it's excellent to use it just gives you an overall view of, of you know of what the space will look mm. like just narrowing down that you know that uncertainty factor mm. yeah well Sonica thank you so much for joining us and best of luck with the reach for a dream office I'm so keen to see what it's going to look like and I'm maybe but <laughs> Leo you and uh, Kia and myself can don some art, uh, overalls and come and help you paint there yes, as well yes I'd love that <laughs> we'll see how it goes Sonica has some great tips for us take a look at this Stay with Expresso and SABC3.